going on everyone thought i'd go ahead and go over the uh everlasting match and how to make it pretty simple process all you need is some strike anywhere matches paper towel or a tissue toilet paper work cotton well you can do this with q-tips if you have some uh some lighter fluid <clears throat> well, but anyway what you're going to do is you're going to wrap these strike anywhere matches in the paper towel like so so there's step number one you can also dip this in wax it'll make it burn just a little bit hotter maybe even a little bit longer depending on the type of wax you're using and that'll give you ample opportunity to dry out any sticks leaves or whatever it is that you need to get your fire going if you're in a wet environment. Now this first wrap with the duct tape needs to be pretty tight. And the reason for that is so that your matches don't fall out when you're in transit or hiking. <clears throat> the rest of it can be fairly loose. You actually want it to be quite loose so that, that way air can get in between the tape. And there you go. Everlasting match. That'll burn for a good five, maybe even ten minutes. Strike Anywhere matches wrapped up in paper towel and duct tape. And the reason for that is to keep the flame going long enough to catch the duct tape. Cotton ball is soaked in lighter fluid. And that will ignite the whole thing as well as keep burning for a few minutes. Once this gets going, it'll burn for a good five, 10 minutes, allowing you to dry out wood, dry out leaves, whatever you need to do. 